Hey, Frank, just wondered how you saw the pattern of the game where it opened up strong, built a big lead, uh, the Suns eventually cut into it in that fourth, and then you close out down the stretch. How did you see that happen flow? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's playoff basketball. You know, you're going to make runs, and, you know, we came out with uh, great assert assertiveness and uh, attention to detail and focus and, and, and defensive pressure. And, um, you know, obviously this is a great team we're playing, uh, even shorthanded, you know, with the way, way CP3 is limited uh, and didn't play in the fourth. Um, you know, still uh, getting great play from, from all their guys. And it's a team with the second best record in the NBA. So it's not going to be a situation where it's easy to knock them out in any game. Uh, but our guys came out strong and we're able to hold on. Your thoughts on Davis and uh, how he played in response to game one? Great assertiveness. You know, and, and he, he does it in, in, in so many ways. Uh, he didn't settle much for the jump shot. Um, you know, he really ran the floor, rolled hard, uh, drove the ball hard, uh, had the intent to attack the paint uh, with and without the basketball, you know, with his seals and, and, and driving the basketball and, and was able to pick up a lot of fouls, get himself to the free throw line. And, you know, that always helps a great player get going. So, um, you know, a great bounce back game for him. And then, Frank, LeBron just had three, uh, three field goal attempts in the paint. I think they were in the first half in transition. Uh, of course, he hits the big three late. But what did you see from him tonight, the way Phoenix, uh, Phoenix was defending him, and uh, the discrepancy between jump shots and shots inside? Yeah, I mean, just, just great leadership. Um, you know, our group moved the ball well tonight. Um, you know, but Bron, you know, Bron impacts the game in so many ways. You know, defensive uh, communication, uh, running the floor, getting guys involved. He had nine assists. You know, I mean, when when you go to the paint against this team, uh, they're going to put five bodies in front of you, and you have to play extra pass basketball. Uh, both Bron and AD had over seven assists for the first time this year, and um, you know those guys draw a crowd and, and made the extra pass. So, uh, big part of a, a team win. And uh, you know, obviously, Bron down the stretch. Just hit big time shots, you know, to help us secure the victory. Higher. Yeah, I, uh, Frank, I do kind of want to delve a little bit more into those big time shots. Um, it seemed like LeBron really had a sense for the moment at the end of the third quarter, obviously at the end of the fourth quarter. Um, you know, what, what do you kind of take from that in, in out of that performance? And, um, you know, do you feel like I know you were saying earlier, like you were kind of expecting um, moments where he wouldn't be so good on his ankle. But is this sort of the the reverse of that? Is this sort of the inverse of, of that that he can still do these things? I mean, um, I don't know what to say. You know, he's he's a great player, uh, an all time great, and uh, you know he shows it time and time again. Um, you know, there are very few plays where I, I felt like the ankle limited him tonight, and. You know, he played bigger minutes, you know, than we when we wanted to play him. Um, you know, really picked up the the load, especially in that first quarter when AD was in foul trouble. Um, you know, he doesn't typically play the whole quarter, but uh, for him to do that and then play the whole fourth uh, the way he did, and then still have have the juice to to make those big shots, just uh, I like to say, big guts in those situations. Big guts, huh? Guts, yes. Guts. Air quote. Uh, air quote. Guts. <laughs> the, the the Suns had cut it to one, Frank, uh, with uh, about three minutes to go, and you guys go on a 7-0 spurt in less than a minute, and it's all LeBron and AD. And how much does that typify who they are for your guys' group? Yeah, I mean, they're two of the, two of the top five players in the NBA, and um, you know we have a formula where those guys, you know, really carry a, a big scoring load, especially at crunch time. And uh, you know an army of defenders and, and finishers around them. You know whether it's finishing at the three-point line or at the rim. And um, you know it's it's been a good formula so far. And those guys continue to show uh, why they're great players. You know by stepping up down the stretch. And Frank, um, the the journey to this point, obviously, uh, to play these games on, on this stage was a really long one with like a bunch of I think you just said roller coaster um, at times. Was there ever a hope, though, kind of with the knowledge that cohesion wouldn't be what you want it to be, that maybe the moment um, could draw it out of your guys, that, that once they just got here when it mattered most, that they would go to a different level? Well, I, I think we saw some of that tonight, and, you know, certainly we hope for that. Uh, but, you know, as a coach, <laughs> you always want more time to, you know, just connect the dots and, and, and get everybody, um, you know, on the same page with everything we're doing and get the rhythm and timing. Uh, with all your actions and defensive coverages, uh, you know, the way you want it. Um, but you just have to make the best of it, you know. And, um, you know, like you alluded to, 
uh, the moment, uh, big game uh, atmosphere like we saw tonight, uh, a game we really wanted to get, uh, you know, definitely helped uh, create some of that cohesion, and you know, we got to build on that. Last three, Bill. Frank, kind of the flip side of that uh, seven over on Dave was just talking about was uh, the defense after that shot clock violation on you guys, AD had a block on eight, uh, Schroeder had a steal. How, how important was it to steal back that momentum, and how do you feel like your guys kind of found that um, found, found that energy to be that disruptive when the momentum seemed to be going so much the other way at that point? Yeah, I mean, uh, we hang our hat on the defensive end, you know, and you mentioned AD's block and uh, and, and Dennis's play. KCP was great, you know, all, all throughout the night. I mean, it, to go over four and then have a, still have a plus 19 speaks volumes of what he's getting done on the defensive end for us. Um, you know, and Kuz was good. I mean, our centers were really good. Our centers, you know, Drummond and, and Mark uh, played exceptionally well, um, you know, in particular, uh, just assisting to slow down uh, Devin every chance we get, but all their guards, campaign and uh, Chris Paul, all those guys, you know, th those guys were good. And it was just a team effort. We threw a lot of guys in there, um, you know, when we got in foul trouble and you wanted it to, you know, just manage that, that uh, stretch of the game. And um, we hang our hat on the defensive end. So, you know, if you get enough stops, you can uh, ride through some of those, uh, the, the, the runs that the other team is on. Yovan. Hey Frank, um, to, to follow up on the play of the centers, I'm just curious. You know, Andre had 15 and 12. Uh, I thought that this was arguably his most impactful game, considering the stakes. And then the decision to go with Mark and, and him playing 20 minutes. I guess, what, what did you think of, of each of those two? Yeah, I mean, I, I would agree that this this was uh, Drum's most impactful game. Um, we needed it. Uh, DeAndre Ayton is a is a monster. You know, he's huge and he finishes everything and uh, really hurt us on the glass last game. Um, so the adjustment to try to go with uh, more size, uh, you know, the fives uh, having size on, on, uh, in the pick and roll defense and then having AD on the backside uh, to help limit the glass and, and limit their, their stuff at the, at the rim, um, you know, I think helped our defense. But, you know, those guys put, had a great attention to detail, Mark and Drum did, you know, in terms of uh, yeah, you know, executing what we wanted to, them to do on the defensive end and both contributed offensively as well. So, um, you know, we, uh, we gave up four offensive rebounds. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, that was part of the plan of, of, of trying to just uh, go a little bit bigger against uh, DeAndre Ayton. Frank? How you doing, Frank? Good, BT. Hey, how important were the contributions from Dennis and Andre to help you guys get in position to win this game, even the series? Yeah, I mean, it was, those guys were great. Dennis, in particular, scoring the basketball. Um, you know, this is his best scoring night since he, he, he came back from the health and safety protocols. Uh, we knew it was going to take a little time for him, but you know he really carried uh, uh, some stretches of the game tonight. And um, you know, obviously, we already talked about what Drum did on on both sides of the ball. You know, um, a really impactful performance by both Drum and and by Dennis.